Welcome anchors to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Buys. This is your work and money forecast for the week of March 6 until March 12. Please be mindful to support your temple by providing your likes, by commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Now let's prepare for what messages the greater source would like for me to relate to you for this week's work and money. I hope you enjoy it and please stay away. All right, hello anchors. Welcome back to the temple one more again for work, money, and romantic guidance. I hope um, the week has been good to you. Now we're starting a fresh new week. And with that being said, I want to thank all my new subs my newest subscribers um, for making this your place for personal, spiritual, and even professional development, growth, and evolution. Yeah. You know, because you can't change until your mind changes, you know? So that's when you come into these waters, you're ready to change your mind. That's really what it is, okay? Um, but to my faithful ones, I want to thank you so much for continually supporting the temple. And I'm so grateful uh, for your faithfulness. You know, without you, it would not be possible. Believe it. So I also want to encourage you to um, get the views up because Libra, I don't think you've ever been a premier sign, okay? Um, but I do think that you have been a little bit more high ranking in views than now. So I want to encourage you to share with your friends, your family, you know, let people know that um, there's different ways to think. You know, it's different ways to think. There's nothing to fear. And, you know, it's entertaining. If nothing else, it's entertaining. You know, so what we're going to do is get you a five-card spread and a spiritual vibe oracle message for this week. If you would like to know what it's like to get a full scope, a full spectrum, a full reading, check out Gemini. Gemini's been on top of their shit. I forgot to get it to them. Devil's Advocates. My gemstones, they've been on their shit. So they get everything. So if you want to know what everything is, and that's just the tip of the iceberg, baby. Because, you know, you only get so much time. But they get everything I can give them. Okay? If you want to know what that's like, check it out. All right? I'm sure you want some of that stuff, too. I'm sure of it. Okay? I am sure of it. That shit's fun. <laughs> okay? It's fun how this stuff come together. Overall energy is the temperance card, okay? That's kind of you to me. And it's ba I saw this card flash in front of me. It's based on the page of wands. I saw this card flash in front of me. Expect the two of cups. It's stemming from hermit, all right? And your outcome is the ten of swords. Mm, I don't know if I like that or not. The underlying energy is the message card, okay? Some of you, um, this is a message from a relative, a kinfolk, okay? Or maybe a kinfolk is involved here. Um, something relative to something. Whatever it is, it's relative to something, Okay? And this may be a company, a, a, a owner, somebody you see as a boss. It may be a boss out here in these streets. I don't know. But whoever it is, their heart is on their sleeve. You know, because I see the empress being very stoic and, and uh, you know, a lot of ego, um, very um, situated, you know, it, 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 it is what it is type of person, you know, somebody that's hard to change, get through, but whatever this energy is, their heart is on their sleeve, they wearing their heart on their shoulder, you know, I don't know if this is the love for the people, the love for you, I don't know if this is you, because I sometimes see the emperor as Capricorn, even though it's on the Aries, you know, any sign can be the emperor, but 
I see the Empress, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, sometimes Gemini. And underneath that is the page of Pentacles reversed, which is like rethinking something, rethinking an idea. Maybe you went ahead and did it, or this could be going forward with your idea. You could even be letting something go. You may have thought about letting go of an idea, a plan. It could even be dealing with money. I don't know. But it's something relative or it's dealing with a relative. And it's all based on this page of wands. And this is mutual attraction. This is instant attraction. This could be um, love at first sight. Some people say that doesn't exist. Some say it do. I don't know. I believe it can be. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's definitely based on something you really like, something you feel you could use, something you may want to play with, you know, use your imagination. We can go on and on, okay? Um, but that's the core energy this week when it comes to both money and romance, all right? For some of you, you just lucked up on this, Okay? Whatever it is, you just, you know, you just lucked up on it. You found it. I don't know if you was looking for it or not, because here's the hermit, which deals with research, searching things out. This is even looking out for another. You know what I'm saying? Um And I'm also hearing going to the edge. Maybe it's edgy, you know. This would be information someone you like. Let me see here. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody looking out for somebody. I don't know if it's you. This could be a Virgo. But this is about details. And maybe you're researching some details or some information based on something or someone or someplace that you like, that you're really attracted to. You have, you have some ideas about this person place a thing and I got a feeling it's a person I don't know where this is if it's on the home front if it's on the, at the gig I don't know but you do if this applies to you all right and I encourage you to watch at least three vids to really knit your story together this happened to be mine today okay I don't share my personal readings but i'm sharing this this happened to be mine today and it's so funny that that was out you know i i didn't even know that card was in i cracked up <laughs> like okay so if you really want to knit your storyline together you should be watching at least three videos but you would know what videos to watch if you have your natal birth chart by now okay sun moon and rising that's a great start all right so um let's find out why you have this Hermit energy in this page of wands energy because it's definitely something or someone or someplace that you like. I get the feeling it's somebody. It may be based on something that you like to do, someplace you want to go, but you definitely don't want to do it solo. All right. Definitely paying attention. Definitely paying attention, baby, to someone, something, somewhere. You're definitely paying attention. And we have the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups reversed. Oh, the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is somebody who is a really good um, administratively. She's great at giving directions. She's a great mentor and coach. Very serious energy, but she can be fun, but she's serious. She's she's somewhat, she's a professional. 
okay? And they want you or them to come back. They want you or them to come back. Because this, this one thing I love about the Queen of Swords, she speaks her truth. She speaks from, from she's intelligent. She she's only speaks what she knows. And what she doesn't know, she's willing to listen. She has a lot of knowledge, a lot of information to share. Because she's had a lot of harsh experiences, okay? Now, I'm also hearing something about ethnic background. I don't know how that applies, but something about something ethnic, ethnicity, ethnicity, okay? And she holds on to her ethnicity. She knows who she is, okay? Somebody's having nostalgic feelings. They want somebody to come back. And it's definitely based on something that they're attracted to. It could be to the person's mind. It could be attracted to their look, just attracted to the energy. It could be all of that. But there's definitely a, a deep attraction here. Okay? Somebody liked what they saw, you or them. I feel like this is you. You've been doing some deep research. You know, looking into things or looking out for somebody, waiting for somebody to show out. It could even be online, as far as I'm concerned. Okay? You have this overall energy of the temperance card. And this is um, putting it out there, giving it a try, testing the waters. You know what I'm saying? This is not an experiment. This is, put it out there, let's see what happens. Uh, uh, or filling someone in on something. Keeping someone abreast. That's the overall energy. That's what's going on this week. You may be telling somebody about this attraction. I don't know. You may, it may be about, maybe you've had this conversation with this person before. Maybe if y'all had a discussion before. Based on something you mutually like. An idea. Remember we talked about that. You know. But somebody's definitely getting a message. And this may be pertaining to ethnicity, you know, roots. You know, you don't have to necessarily be a kin to be part of the same ethnic culture, the same ethnicity, like the African American is really African, you know. Really some of the earliest Africans, you know, because we was here and then we had to come all the way over here to America, right? That kind of thing. Yeah. Because this could also be like, I want to talk to somebody. I need to, I want to feel the me. And here it is. You reach out. Somebody reaches out to somebody. Some of you, this is um, supposed to heal a situation. All right, it's supposed to heal a situation. Somebody's reaching out this week. It's stemming from something that they saw. It's stemming from something that they learned. Okay, because this is also learning. Okay, this is science. This is alchemy trying to put something together and I feel like that that's what happens in the two of cups You're trying to put something together all right I don't know if it's scientific you could be a student you could be your master teacher this is the master teacher here this is the teacher the professor okay maybe the teacher's coming for you I don't know uh It's definitely about giving it a try.
And I, I'm hearing this song. If you want your story crown. What is that? That was just be a little song we used to sing with the kids in church. Um, if you want your story crown. For whatever reason, this has got to be done. You need to you need to make this happen. You need to put it out there. If you want your story crown, you know. It's about the end of the road, you know, when people talk about being blessed by the Most High, being blessed by Heaven, being blessed by God, being blessed by the Divine, whatever you want to call it. You know, you got to be ready. You have had to have done the work. You know, you have had to have walked that road to get that story crown. You know what I'm saying? And I'm also here for some of you, leadership. There's something about leadership involved in this. I don't know if that's why they're reaching out to you. About leadership, I'm not certain. We only have so many cards we're going on here. Because this is majestic. If you want your story crown, I feel like something's trying to come out, but I can't get it out. You know, it's like well done my good and faithful servant here okay that's what somebody's trying to get to to be able to be the king okay to be the top dog to be in charge to be in control it may be part of that okay but your outcome is this ten of swords And this is giving in to something. So more than likely, somebody may be reaching out to you because in the end, you have this Ten of Swords. And this is total submission. You know, for some of you, this may be on the precipice of your calling because this is a master teacher. This may be about some details. I don't know if it has something to do with somebody that you're interested in. But this is also drama. Okay. Some of you may be incurring some type of drama based on this attraction. But whatever it is, you giving in to it. And for one of some of you, this may be about slander. You may be getting slandered. You know, people talking behind your back about this interest. This mutual interest. Because this is mutual. You like it, it likes you. They like you, you like them. You like the place, the place likes you. It's, it's, it's mutual. No no way around it. Because this is definitely learning. You learned something. You uncovered something. Or somebody did. If you're a student, this definitely has something to do with your um, science project or your assignment or whatever it is that you study. You just got to go on and give in to it. But I'm also hearing feeling drained like you're going to be out of battery. And this may just have to do with just all the work that you put in, all the study that you put in, you know, because maybe this is the subject. <laughs> maybe you're studying anatomy. Who knows? But some of you, oh, it fell right on there. On there. 
<laughs> on that ten of swords. So definitely, this is an interest. Okay, something that you study. You're gonna be really drained in the end. Okay, that's just the way it is. I've been there, done that. It's just part. <laughs> it's just part of it. Let's get you a spiritual Bible oracle message. While I do that, remember to support your temple by giving some thumbs. Also, remember to check the description box, okay? so a lot of good information in there. You can check out my other channel. If you would like to support the temple financially, that information is in there. Yeah, it's, you know, check that description box. It's important. Okay? But always remember to give some thumbs, okay? This adds to your merit system, okay? So if I see you giving thumbs and comments, I'm going to treat it like a review. And it's going to move you on up the ladder. You know what I'm saying? You may have few reviews, but you are commenting and you're giving thumbs. I'm going to be counting that, okay? So let's find out what source would like to relate to you regarding the scripture about Oracle message. You got Mary J. Blige. And then you have Superior Man underneath here. Superior Man, okay? Superior person, somebody who is spiritually elevated. They live in the truth. They live their truth. They walk in the light. Okay? They walk in the light. They have integrity. They have dignity. They have character. They have clad, superior man. Or this could be a superior, someone that's over you, like here and like here. Okay? I don't know what this message is relative to a connection, relative to uh, your schoolwork, your science project. I don't know. But you have Mary J. Blige. Now, Mary J. Blige, to me, is a woman who um, transformed herself. She was one way, and then she transformed herself into something else. We literally watched her evolve. Superior man. Let's get a reflection and see what that may mean for you this week. Mary J. Blige. Okay. Oh, that's too many. We're only going to do one. We're only going to do one. So we'll shuffle these. one would you like okay you have oh the six of cups again this is you know a sweet remit a sweet familiar this is home okay this is happiness this is I don't know why I'm hitting quaint I don't know if this could be like backed by popular demand or something. But this is definitely about feeling at home, you know, where you belong. And in transformation, she figured out where she belonged and that was in her happiness because the Six of Cups deals with happiness. Okay, over here we're talking about some, some truth spoken or some woman that you want to return or you have nostalgic feelings about. Yeah. I really believe this has a lot to do with transforming yourself, transforming a relationship, transforming minds, transforming an industry. You know, whatever it is, is going from A all the way to Z. And I'm going to leave it on that note. Thank you so much, anchors, for checking in once again for work and money and romance here at the Tarot Temple. I hope that I can bring you another one next week. In the meantime, remember to walk by faith and by sight. Okay? Hotel, which means peace be unto you. And one love.